Hello YouTube, it's um Jacob Phillips here and I'm gonna bring you another gun walkthrough because um recently I've been talking more about my life and um some other things. So who care about that? Yeah, who cares? Not no many people. <laughs> um but anyway, um I'm gonna be talking about a very favorite assault rifle of mine. Um it's not widely used. Um it's some parts of the Russian regions. It's the AN ninety four. Now cool and somewhat like oddball fact about the A94. It's a Chinese design, but at the same time it's a Russian design. The Chinese made the prototype of it basically. Um Aronon Shakov is the designer of the A ninety four for the Russians. And I I can't pronounce the um, Vaki Zhanung was the designer of the A ninety four for China. Um they're both working together of course. Um the A ninety four was basically placed as a replacement for the AK-74M and UKS, but it never really happened because both of those guns were more widely used and more widely developed. Um, so the A-94 didn't really have much of an upper hand of being the replacement for both of those weapons. It, it took the same exact caliber, um, 5.59 by 64, Ugh. sorry it's just like number number number. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it took that caliber, and big difference of the AN-84 compared to those two is the fact that, um, just the range. The range of both was much different. The AN-84 had very superior range, but the soldiers didn't really like it in the Russian army and Chinese army due to the fact that it didn't have the capability of the 74 M N U K S like, um, basically close counter combat. That's where the 94 really had the low ball and everything. Um, it had, it had, a lot, it had lots of power. And um, that was a great thing about it. That and the fact, um, now, this is where the interesting stuff comes along. The first two rounds that were released from the AN-84 are more powerful than the other rounds of the clip itself. Um, there's not a really distinct way to explain it, um, but I guess it's because of the gas power within the gun. Um, it just puts a lot more power to it and much more penetration. So you want the because the first two shots are the most, you know, vital. Go for head shots, um, chest shots, or along the neck, shoulders. Those two rounds are gonna kill you. Um, the other rounds will kill you, of course, though. <gasps> but uh, those two rounds will kill you quick. <laughs> you know, I know them. But in the, those terms, yeah, it's a very um, hard explanation. You guys should look it up on Wiki. Because I found it on Wiki. <laughs> um, but. And, um, yeah, it's. Uh, the A94. It, it was made in 1994, of course. Um, and, like I said, it wasn't widely used. Some units use it, like the Spitnaz, um, Chinese Special Forces, um, North Korean police, like military police, um, Cambodia, and basically the enforcement of Vietnam. It sort of just dropped out within probably t within 2001 to 2002, just because it just didn't feel comfortable to all the troops. It was much different. So yeah, um, the fully it had a fully automatic and two round burst mechanism to like select fire basically, um, and most the clip <laughs> there we go the clip was actually a very healthy forty two rounds larger than like the basic thirty or thirty two round clips or basic assault rifles had forty two was um so much yeah <laughs> um. Just a bit bigger clip. Um, um, the barrel, on the other hand, the barrel of the A ninety four is very precise. Um, now you know, like every like the RPK used the Dragonaw barrel, and um, so this one actually used the used the on um, the moderate Dragonaw barrel as well, but it could also use like an AK-47 barrel and that and um, a few 74 series like the 74 ks basically or towards the pistol barrel. 
um, not the longer 74M, um, just to be because of the, um, the rope, the rotisserie of the barrel itself, when you try to put it in, it has this different, just a different type of lock, different type of lock pattern when you put in the gun. Um, I don't know, I'm talking all about just hoo-ha, like, what's a lock pattern? Um, <laughs> but I can't really explain that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just the gun that I am. Um, but, yeah, it's a very short use gun it wasn't used for that long but it did make some impact um because it's still gonna be in develop that's the thing i it's still in the prototype stage we're trying to make it better um but it's just the fact that the 74m the uks um 104 the 103 are just rock solemn ak from the ak series they're just extremely good arlson kalashnikov weapons on uh, they're hard to replace, and the AN-94 series is just, it's hard. You can't upstand those type of weapons, um, because they're already widely used, they're highly in development, and everything like that. But what I do have to say, it's a pretty well-designed gun, overall. Um, very slick, slim, has a great type of light stability to it, it's not that heavy at all, it's the same t amount of weight as an M4 carbine, which is 9 pounds. Um, it's just a very nice and light gun. It's very deadly. Um, but it's just that the fact that it can't be very useful in close counter combat. That is the worst part about this gun. Because the barrel, the barrel and the muzzle are just so linked. It's just so hard. If you're good, if you got a, okay. Let's have a situation here. You have an elite force. Three front men, which are basically the guy, three guys in the front, um, have AN-94s. And the other guys, like, have shotguns, like I'm trying to figure, like an SKS. Um, and, uh... Moderate Scorpion Bebo. Um... Then some other guys have like the M4 carbines, M16A3s, and Remington shotguns, like an 870 um, or 500. The guys with the M4s are going to have the upper hand due to the fact that the barrel length is much shorter and you have a much higher fire rate because the M4 carbine fire rate is at least over 426. The AN84 fire rate is sadly 348. You see a huge difference in here. So when that guy pulls that trigger, there's going to be a wider spread of the M4 releasing a hell of round of bullets, while the N94 is still not doing that. It's not going to release that many rounds as well. So the guy with the M4 has the upper hand. Smaller cartridge, upper hand. Um... But like I said, the AN-94 fires the same exact round as AK-74M, which is nicknamed the Poison Dart round, because of fact it just bounces around in your body. Um, very vital, very brutal. Those two rounds, that thrust and type of lethal capabilities, are going to cause a lot of mayhem. Um, so yeah. Um, that is really it. Um, of course, like I've been saying, the developer is, um, Russian and Chinese. There's two developers. Um, and they never got to the tippy top. Um. Got any more questions? Or anything you want me to, anything else you really want me to talk about? Talk about, uh, please leave a comment below. And, um, I'll see what I can do. I'll gladly... Do really any walkthrough. I'm being honest. I'll do any walkthrough of any weapon that you guys want me to do. It can be from any time period. Um, to be honest, not for its melee. Uh, melee. I'm not very well with them. Welded blade, bladed type of weapons. So basically everything. Anything basically from starting up with the revolutionary. Of weaponry. Of gunpowder. Stuff like that. Of the Chinese. Um, to the modern days of um, modern combat. Oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, Udot Ashes, and bye bye.